But in the meantime, I'll do some spiritual work on the side. But it's like a child doing it. It's like a kid. It's not really committed. It's just doing it because it's trendy or it's cool or it's a part of the things we do during the day. And this is another thing we do. But you're not really committed. You're not really focused on it. So it doesn't really work. But it just gives you a couple hours of comfort. For a few hours, you're okay. You feel good. You feel good you're a part of a community. You feel good you're kind of connecting or whatever. But it doesn't really take you home because you're not really focused on it. It requires your attention. Not really doing, 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 doing things. It requires attention. It's like your partner or your child or your business or your plans. You have to pay attention to them. Otherwise they fall apart. It's like you're in a relationship with somebody. You have to pay attention to them. You can't ignore them. You got kids, you have to pay attention to them. You have to. Or they're angry with you and they say, fuck you. Or they just go do all kinds of crazy things. You got finances, managing finances, you have to pay attention. You have to be on top of it. You can't fall asleep. You've got a garden, you're taking care of garden. You have to pay attention to it. You have to water it. You have to make sure there's not all kinds of things happen. You have to pay attention. Same thing here. You have to pay attention. And what do we pay attention to? And it's really, really simple. And you've heard it before. It's nothing new. There's nothing I'm telling you which is new. There's nothing, no teaching is nothing that has never been said before. It's all have been said and done a million times before throughout the history by different teachers and masters and awakened beings and people who are seekers and dedicated to the truth. And where you pay attention to is here, right now. Paying attention, shifting your attention from a story that you believe and it's been constructed called your life, which is extremely fragile and at any moment it can stop and end and be altered at any moment in any way, but it's very, very important to you and you're very invested in it. Two, shifting your attention, maybe looking in the mirror, looking into your own eyes and all of a sudden without any stories of any kind, no stories, 
you recognize the vastness of the being. You recognize yourself. In a most ordinary way that we are sitting in the living room, air conditioning, heater, computer, our drink, our coffee, everything is there. Nothing really spiritual about it. You're not wearing your feathers and spiritual clothing. But in that very moment, the most spiritual thing will happen beyond anything else is the moment of the death of who you think you are and all your ideas, everything, to a complete unconditional undescribable moment available to you of being present here. Completely unceremonial, like there's no big bang or nothing and sky doesn't open and Christ doesn't show up or Moses doesn't come and open up the ocean and you walk through it. Nothing like that. It could be, but it's just like here, diving into being comfortable here in your body, The willingness of dissolving into this moment and being okay with being here right now. With all the stuff that it has, good stuff or bad stuff or whatever it is, whether it's matching your idea or it doesn't. And it's free and there's nothing you have to do about it because it's already here. And it's been here ever since the ever since. It's been waiting for you. It's always waiting for you to recognize it. It's very simple. I invite you to do it with me right now. Simply, Look on what's one side and see you, the old you, and all your stories, everything that has happened to you, and including being traumatized, being abandoned, being beat, being raped, being left out, being screwed over, everything that has happened in your life, plus the good things, all the wonderful things that have happened, including your personality, addictions, all your addictions, which you know very well they are and what they are, your secret thoughts, desires, everything. Everything is here. And you're identifying with it, which is fine. Don't beat yourself up, it's okay. You're perfectly fine the way you are, by the way. And then there's a moment of clarity of recognition, somehow, of shifting your attention, okay? Attention. You take your attention from here and you bring your attention to here, and I'm just making a physical thing to it, is that all of a sudden, in this place, 
you're still here. Your body's the same. Nothing's really changed. Same temperature, same everything environment, blah, 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 blah. With the difference is you have no idea of anything. Zero idea. 